thing you've heard, this is the last word. What up, it's your boy Bill Colignon, and this is my review on Star's new show, BMF, Black Mafia Family. When we was growing up, we wanted to be like Young Boys Incorporated. All them dudes had money, women, clothes, and fly whips. But more than anything, they had respect. That's my car. Oh, it ain't full. It's my boss's. And one day, I'm gonna have one just like it. Means, you coming or what? Hot, right? You know what I mean? Uh, first, I gotta give big ups to stores for picking this up. Uh, this is a winner. Um, they've been on a roll recently with their shows. And I hope they continue what they're doing. Big ups to y'all. And uh, uh, over here, uh, you know, we get it down. Down pat. You know what I mean? Because the thing about this show, this show is based on two brothers who grew up in Detroit in the 80s who became one, one of the biggest crime families in the country. You, you see what I'm saying? They got it out the mud, real talk. You know what I mean? As you can tell, if you watch the, uh, if you watch the first episode, you'll know what I'm talking about. They straight got it out the mud. But uh, how I'm gonna do it over here, I'm gonna start with the cast because it's a lot of um, surprises. It's a lot of cameos. It's a lot of, uh, you know, people that you probably wouldn't think would be in there. You may have seen them, you know, probably on social media, talk about it. But if you didn't, this is the place for you. This is how I'm going to start it off. Okay. All right. Now, like I said, cast is first. Now, we're going to check this out. Now, great cast. Like, like, for instance, Demetrius Flannery, if I'm saying that right, Demetrius Flannery um, plays Big Meech as a teen. And mind you, this is Big Meech's real son. Great, huh? Look just like his daddy. <laughs> real talk. He like a mix of his daddy and his mama. But, uh, yeah, that's your boy. Um, he's in there for eight episodes. So, basically, this uh, series is going to be eight episodes long, probably, if you didn't know. He's going to be in there for eight. You know, I already knew that. Uh, we got uh, Russell Hornsby. Russell Hornsby, that's the dad. You know, if you've seen the show, he played a phenomenal role as the dad. You know, I'm going to be um, eager to see more of him in the future as the show goes on. You know what I mean? But he's a, yeah, he's a great actor. Um, he's in a couple of other shows um, that he's done a great job in. But, yeah, he's he's the truth. I, I'm thinking him. That's my boy. And uh, he's also in it for the whole eight episodes. You know what I mean? So we're going to see a lot of him also. And then we got um, uh, Eric what is that? Eric Coffee Abrifa? Man, I'm, I'm wrecking names today. I guess it's uh, Eric Coffee Abrifa. Man, look. I ain't going to say it three times. I'm going to tell you that. But I can tell you this. He plays a good role. He gives me these, um, you know, he gives me Michael vibes, you know, from The Wire. You know what I mean? He gives me them vibes. You know what I mean? If you see the show, you'll see what I'm talking about. But he's playing the ex-drug dealer. You know what I'm saying? Just getting out of jail. You know what I'm saying? Used to run shit. But now, he's he, he, he gets out. He sees some people that's running it. And he wants it back the same way. He plays a phenomenal role. Going to have to watch out for that guy. That guy's crazy. Um, great actor. 
He's in it for eight episodes. So we're going to see a lot of him. You know what I mean? I didn't think we were. I ain't going to lie. I, I thought this cat was going to at least die in uh, episode three. That's just me. Because the way he started off with all this rah-rah, you know what I mean, about what he going to do. And then he hit your man's with the car. Oh, spoiler alert. If you didn't know, spoiler alert, he hit, you, he hit Big Meech with the car and then going to tell him, don't talk to my woman. Guess he didn't know who he was talking to. I thought he was going to die that night. I thought he, was gonna, he might die in the next episode, but it says here, eight of them. So, hey, he's going to be in it. And then we got uh, John Chaffin. Now, John Chaffin. Now, I'm a big fan of John Chaffin. Um, I don't even know if I'm saying your name right either. John Chaffin. Now, I love him in um, The Have and the Have Nots. You know, that's a nice show. If you haven't watched that, go and watch that. You know, it's a little bit of soap opera and, and a little bit there. But it's a great, great show. A great watch. And, and, and the finale is just, uh, it'll send you somewhere. We don't want to be. But, uh, yeah, that's my boy. You know what I mean? I know he's a phenomenal actor. I know he's going to do what he needs to do throughout the thing. And he's playing older Meech. You know what I mean? He's playing Big Meech as he just now getting out of jail. You see what I'm saying? That That's, you know, that's my boy. And, and he's also in it for eight. You see what I'm saying? So... And then we got, um, we got Lil Zane making an appearance in here. You see what I'm saying? Um, I watched the first episode, but, uh, I didn't see him. Unless I just wasn't looking for him. Uh, I might, he might have slipped past me, but, uh, he's in there. Uh, and you, you know, and you may not, you know, his time is short too because he's scheduled for seven episodes. I mean, it's not that short. It's just one shot of the eight. But uh, it seems like he's going to meet his demise around uh, episode seven. So, you know, they also count you in even if you're in a casket, even if you're uh, being. In the show, a uh, funeral's been held. That still counts as you being in the episode. Of course, you may not have said any anything verbally. You might not have no lines, but you were in it. So that probably leads to his seven. And then we got Snoop Dogg. Uh, he's playing Pastor Swift, and uh, you know, it, it, we might not see him that much, but you know, like I'm saying, he's playing a pastor. I don't know how he's going to pull that off. Haven't seen it yet. Uh, we might see him in the future. I don't know if we're going to see him next episode or the episode after that. But one thing I do know, he has three episodes in this season. So he's got a short little play in here, too. So... You know what I'm saying? But it's good. It's a nice cameo. And this could lead to something else big for him. I mean, like he needs it. I mean, he's in lots of great movies. But uh, you know what I'm saying. And then we got Lala Anthony. You know what I mean? She's in the first episode. You see her for a brief moment. Looking looking sexy as ever. You know what I mean? And, um... Her acting is always going to be welcome. Uh, she's a good actor to me. A lot of people may not agree with that, but uh, to me, she is. Um, um, her name in the show is Markeisha. So, you know what I'm saying? She um, she has a short time on her. Markeisha does. La La. Uh, she has two episodes in this season, so... I don't know if it's just that she's not going to be seen. Uh, I don't. I, I doubt if she meets her demise anytime soon. But just know, she has only two episodes. So, hey, uh, we got Cash Doll. 
Nou ja. <laughs> um, I heard that she may have been in the first episode. And once again, I would look. I didn't see her. You see what I mean? She was in there. But I didn't see her. But you know, that's a good look for her. And I, I think this is her first acting role. You know, I didn't really get to see how she acted. So I may have to go back, check that out. Let y'all know in a, uh, you know, in a future vid. But uh, she also has uh, two episodes in this season. So, like I said before, I don't know if she's going to meet her demise. Or she's not just, she's not going to be seen anymore. Two episodes is just what they're giving her, and she's out. Um, maybe that's it. And then we got um, Josh Gordon. No, my fault. My fault. Let me let me um, say that again. It's Johnny Gordon, and he's playing um, uh, young Mitch, the uh, the you know the real real child, the the, the child that you first see on the episode. The, the, you know what I'm saying the uh, you know the young young Mitch. I don't even know if he was a teen yet, but I do know he was young Meech in there. You know what I mean? And he's only doing one episode, so we're not going to see him anymore. Um, uh, we got Jalen Gordon. Um, this is young Terry. You see, you see what I'm saying? Uh, young T. And uh, he's also in it for one episode. So, you know. I don't think they need the kids anymore, you know what I mean, since we since we moving up. And then this one shocked me. Um uh my boy, Eminem, he's gonna be in there as white boy Rick. You see what I'm saying? I don't know what episode. Maybe, maybe episode three, maybe episode two, four, but I do know this. He's just going to make one appearance because he's only due for one episode. I don't know if he's going to sign for the next season, but we don't know if he's going to meet his demise. Also, he might get shot as soon as he seen. You see what I mean? We don't know what kind of um role he's going to play, you know what I'm saying, towards the um, BMF. So, that's, um, you know what I'm saying, that's the thing about the cast. That's uh, that's got me. And, and um, if you're wondering what Little Zane name is in that show, it's uh Saki. His name is Saki. So uh, if you're um, if you're looking at the um, the first episode, you know, after this, maybe you might want to look and and probably listen out for that name because uh, visually. I didn't see the man, but like I said, I'm gonna have to go back, look at it, and try to figure out if he's in there. But hey, we're gonna see. Now, next, we have act. Now, the acting was great, great performances. Uh, the kids were great. Um, the teens were great. Um, um, you know, you know. Uh, the leading cast were great. You see what I mean? Everything was great all the way around. Atmosphere. Everything. Clothing. You see what I mean? You know, location of where it was at. You know what I mean? Giving us uh, great views of how everything was. You know what I mean? And how it was back then in the 80s. You know? But everybody did their thing, you know. Uh, let me see, let me see. I don't think it was one person that I could say really didn't pull it off. But if I had to nitpick and give one, I would say it's the uh, it's the guy that plays T. Not the not the guy that plays young, not the kid that plays young T. But um, but T when they're in the you know. When they're in their twenties, and you know, when they're in their twenties, uh, now he was okay. I mean, you know, um, 
you know, either there's parts, it was a couple of instances there where I could be like, uh, you know, he could have did a little bit better, but other than that, it was a phenomenal job all across the board from everybody. Great first time story, you know what I mean? Um, great followship, you know, they, uh, they're following the big Meech thing, you know, to the tick. For God's sake, we got his son in here. And I'm pretty sure 50 Cent uh, got the okay from jail. And I'm pretty sure Big Meech put a couple of his two cents in on what he didn't want and what he did want in there. Because you can sue from jail. I don't care what you're talking about. So uh, that's my thing with that. You know, um, yeah. So great performances. Now, comparisons. Now, when it comes to comparisons, now, it's on the level with power. I love power. You know, it's on the level with that. It's on the level with the, you know, the get down. And, you know, most of all the su successful shows that has passed. You see what I mean? But it's on that level. You know, it's premium watching. You see what I'm saying? You're not going to be disappointed in any kind of way um it's just it's just phenomenal now um as i say comparisons there's two shows that i haven't watched that that i would love to compare it to and you may get mad at me and you probably say well where were you um me i haven't watched raising canaan yet okay sue me kill me i haven't watched it yet been busy been doing my thing haven't watched it yet. Going to get around to it because I've been hearing good things about it. Um, I haven't watched the Wu-Tang story. You see what I mean? They're a little, um, haven't watched that. Heard good things about that. You see what I mean? It's, it's, you know, I heard great things about that. But, um, the thing about what I liked it about, like the get down and um, and other shows of that caliber, is the character development. Now, um, that's another thing I can't think about the show. This has nothing to do with the acting, but this has something to do with the development. Um, it was a bit rushed. Um, uh, if you watch the show, you kind of see what I'm talking about. They went from kids to teens. To, uh, uh, 20 year olds and, and just a, in, in an instant and they became somewhat big drug lords in an instant I mean because they went from standing on the corner as kids to a boss a boss guy pulling up to them getting into the ride then flip later they're big bosses you see what I mean and, and, and to me, that was just a bit rushed because we could have eased into it on how everything was, you know, because there was a little bit more as kids to give you an inkling of what I, they wanted to do with this. Not just seeing a fancy car or seeing a fly clothes. And that's why they wanted to do it. You know what I mean? It came, it, it became glimpses of what it was about when they got in their 20s because... Um, their family struggled, you know what I'm saying? It was a struggle, you know what I'm saying? It was the typical struggle of any hood person, you know? Bills aren't being paid on time, um, you know, don't have enough money for this or that. Uh, you know, a real, real touching hood story, but they could have built on that. That's my only complaint. But other than that, a phenomenal show all across the board. Can't complain about it anything about that great show and now last but not least I have to give big ups to 50 Cent you see what I mean some of you may not like him some of you love him me that's my dude I've been a big fan uh, of his music since he touched down since Get Rich or Die Trying I love the movie Get Rich or Die Trying I had the video game, Get Rich or Die Trying. Um, 
You know what I mean? Boy, I was a huge fan. Um, you see what I'm saying? And what I'm really loving about 50 is that he's not the typical street guy. You see what I mean? He, um, he take those wants and needs of a typical street guy and implements them in real life. You don't have the money that he has and act stupid with it. You see what I mean? Still have that hood mentality and blow it off. No, he still has the hood mentality and he has professionalism. And that, and that uh, in between he has there is a good match to why he's successful. You know what I mean? Majority of his souls are huge and, and great and successful. Like I said, I haven't watched the race of Kenny yet, but I'm already giving his props because um, he hasn't missed yet. And uh, I'm sure that's just going to be another hit along with this BMF. Um, you know, he's on the road. Big ups to your success, 50. Keep it going. Because um, I understand. I know how you do it. Soon as one project go down, you're thinking of the, the next. You're thinking of the next. Reminiscent of myself. Because I'm the same way. Soon as one thing down, I'm back on something new. You see what I mean? So, that's why me and him, we cut from that same cloth when it comes to that. Um, but, yeah. <laughs> Props, bro. Props. You know what I mean? Uh, the picking of the cast. Just the... Um, um, the picking of the writers, I mean, all of that it coincides to a great watch, a premium, premium show. They'll be all me to watch. So, that's my take. That's my thought. If you haven't watched the show, go watch the show. You know what I mean? And after you watch the show, leave some comments on the video. On this video, you know, it's going to be a little past tense after you watch it. Just come right back here. Leave the comments. Tell me what you thought about it and how you feel of how the characters and everything was and what you think of the build up. Was it too rushed or was it just right? I want to hear all those thoughts from you. But this is your boy, Last Word TV. This is my thoughts and review. You like it, like, share, and subscribe. Other than that, I'm out. Peace.